hello guys welcome back to our channel and in this video i'm going to teach you how to uh, use a force table or how a force table works all right so this is actually an instructional material that um, helps us to understand the interaction between vectors or between uh, forces all right so uh, whenever forces interact when, well, with one another let's say for example they push or pull one another there is a resultant force and uh, we will know the magnitude of the force and the direction of the force using the force table as you can see in this setup i have a string here and on the other end of the string is a suspended mass so here so this mass is actually uh acted upon by gravity and so there is a force of gravity in here which is equivalent to the weight okay so weight is a vector and then other one is here and you can see that they are trying to uh, pull uh, the center okay so there is a force in here so there will be a resultant force and uh, it's going this way all right and uh, if your eyes is good enough Okay, sharp enough, it's around here, 45 degrees. So the resultant force is um, a kind of force that can balance these two. Okay, so basically, if it is balanced, the ring would be at the centermost uh, part. Okay, it's not on the centermost part, so I'm going to hang uh, uh, the third... Uh, mass or set of mass right here okay there we go and uh, yeah yeah so you give it a pull okay quite quite okay There we go. So it's, yeah. So if you want it to be more uh, accurate, you just have to find the uh, specific angle, okay? So if, and specific amount of mass, okay? So there's always a error, but nonetheless, it's in 225 degrees and that's also um, called terminal with 45 degrees okay so if you uh, put it here it will still um, actually that's the resultant force this one that's equivalent to the force that uh, exists if you you add this to okay so the direction of the resultant force goes 45 degrees so the object moves 45 degrees okay in a straight path okay and the resultant force can counter that so um, that's equal okay equivalent to this so you're gonna uh, add the masses here which is um, uh, 50 grams and uh, 20 grams i think i guess okay that's yeah 50 grams so that's 70 grams and these two are 50 grams each all right so the resultant force is um 70 grams and at 45 degrees okay 